What's the deal with pillagers? We all know them as a weapon-wielding villager lookalike, so there's got to be some lore connected to them, right? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be telling you about in today's video. Vindicators and Evokers were added into the game in the 1.11 update before the official mobs called pillagers were added into the game. Even though it is not their official name, they get grouped with pillagers. The pillagers got a massive update in 1.14 called the Village and Pillage Update. This mainly upgraded villagers and the actual villages. It added structures like the Pillager Outpost, and also added the Pillager Mob and the Ravager. It also added a new mechanic called Raids. To get one of these, you have to kill a Pillager with the banner, and when you do, you get the Bad Omen effect. Once you have that, you need to go near your village and BAM! You just started 5 waves of terror on your village, well, depending on difficulty, which get progressively harder. Now, there are obvious resemblances between Villagers and Pillagers, but also with another mob in the raid group, Witches. In real life, back in the medieval times, certain things would point people to think that a woman is a witch. After that, they were outcasts, them and whoever they were with. They would likely run away and live far from any civilization, most times alone. It would even go so far as to them getting killed. Witches and their colleagues were known for having a bad omen. What else has a bad omen in Minecraft? Pillagers holding the banner. And what would result in that when it came close to a village? A raid. And we can't be more sure about who made them into outcasts, considering the only type of human civilization other than pillagers is villagers. Witches are a part of raids, and pillagers also attack villagers. So, could the pillagers somehow be colleagues to the witches? After all, it would make sense, considering woodland mansions are always found thousands of blocks away from villages or any spawn point, and no other structure is guaranteed to be thousands of blocks away from spawn. So, we have the real culprits now. We have villagers throwing away the witches and their colleagues. Wow. But then, why do the pillagers attack the villages? Perhaps they are trying to get revenge or take something back. We all know that Minecraft Dungeons has a lot of pillagers and illagers, so could there be something in that game to help us solve this? Maybe. But right now, I would like to ask you fellow theorists, if you love gameplay, tutorials, and theories just like this, to grab a crossbow and shoot an arrow at that subscribe button below. But that is, after all, just a theory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And trust me, this is 